Oh, yo, let me get some M&Ms. This is a horrible start to the interview, Tony. <laughs> oh, I'll, did we officially start already? Oh, yeah, it started. Okay, started well, 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 let them know I'm here. No, not yet. Hold on. You want an M&M? No, I'm good. You can't. can't say skinny. You eat M&M's. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Comedy Corner. Uh, since we're now in this room, I'm not exactly sure what corner it is, so I guess we'll use that one. It's the Comedy Corner, and my special guest today is Tony Rock. Yo. Uh, comedian. Yes, sir. Uh... Actor. Actor. Philanthropist. Philanthropist. Uh, just, I don't know. Just Gentleman of the night. Okay. Uh, hold on. Now we're talking. <laughs> that means what? You get paid for sex from women? Yeah. Perfect. That's exactly what it means. Perfect. Perfect. Good for you. You made it. <laughs> Interview's over. Just take, <laughs> take notes. No, listen. This guy here is uh, a funny fucking guy. Uh, he's gonna be at Gotham all weekend long. That's why he's in New York, even though you no, are. No, I'm home because I'm home. This is home. I'm just. just, just you don't bonus. come home no more. So I've been home for the last week. A week. I've been home for the last week. Gotham don't start till Friday. <laughs> I came home, man. Got to get some pizza and some White Castles and yes. see some Puerto Rican girls. There you go. Everything they don't have in LA, I came Yo, here you know for. They, you know what I just realized? What? You know what the Puerto Rican girls are? San Fran. I was in LA. Get out of here. I was in LA uh, what, two weeks ago, yeah. and we went to San Fran to go see the Jay and Beyonce shit. You say there was Puerto Ricans up there? So you telling me it's more Puerto Rican girls in say, San Francisco than Nicobaca Avenue? No, in Brooklyn? I'm saying more than LA. Oh no, it's no Puerto Rican girls in LA. That's what I'm None. saying. They're, it's, they're, it's they're maybe, hiding in San Fran. There's maybe two Puerto Rican girls in LA. Go up, go north a little bit. Okay, they're up there. All right. I, I so will. you don't have to fly all the way back east. You just go up to to your Southwest flight to San Fran. Forty nine dollars. You better be in group um, one. You better be in group one. So look. <laughs> or you get in the middle seat. <laughs> Yo, Gotham Comedy Club all weekend long, but also the host of the Apollo. Apollo Live, yes. Every Tuesday night on BET, yes. Now, how's that going? It's going great, man. It's going great. We shot it. We actually shot. People keep asking me about the show. We shot it last September, but BET is so slow with everything they do is just being aired. Yeah. So they just really slow and don't know what the, a lot of stuff. They just really don't have the capacity to just know when they have something hot and just throw it on immediately yeah so it's like whoever's hot they kind of go with that person so they push my show back for being mary jane because i guess they thought I, I, I'm, I'm i'm assuming they thought she shorty was hotter than me and mary, mary jane her is, show was gonna be better and gabrielle union yeah are you hating on gabrielle i'm union? not hating it's just like why couldn't they just drop them both at the same time like why is it one show at a time if you notice that would be it's like first bro we drop we drop House Husbands, then we're not dropping nothing else. Then we'll drop Being Mary Jane, then we're not dropping nothing else. Mm. Then we'll drop Apollo. It's like, why can't we just drop two shows and just murder just kill from it. eight to ten? You know what I mean? Just kill the whole game. But I digress. Well, it's not the I'll be at Gotham Comedy Club all weekend, like you said. Sounds like yeah. you want to go in on BET. Shows th- I always want to go in on BET. They know that. They know that. I take shots every chance I get. Nice. Um... But it's doing well. It's doing very it's well. It's doing very well. People love it, and I'm happy that the people love it. And I do live tweeting every night while I'm while it's on, like when they show a new episode. So I talk to the people while they're watching the, it. What's the secret to like getting a good response in there? Be able to really sing. Number one would be good. But it's always like I, I want to. I want to actually like get the timing right because it seems like you could come out and sing and be good, but then there's that moment where you got to hit that. That no, if, you can, if you can hit the high notes, if you can, if you can, at the like, right part, right, you can't do it too early. If you hit the notes that you're supposed to hit, like every song, they'll give you just the basic intro. They'll give yeah. you the intro. They'll give you the, you know, the melody, or whatever. But you, the notes that you're supposed to hit, you gotta hit. You hit it, and then they go crazy. Because that's what they're waiting for. The Apollo audience is coming to boo, and they come to boo <laughs> if you don't hit the note they know. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna sing a song that they know. It's like okay, if she's singing "Fire and Desire," when it comes to love, you gotta hit that. You right. know what I'm saying? Like that's the note we want you to hit. What about you hit for, that? Boo. What about for white people? There's a certain trick. White people, uh, the trick would be go on uh, America's uh, Got Talent. <laughs> don't come to Harlem. <laughs> don't, don't, don't come so, to Harlem. Just, no, because there's always a white. There's another black guy for y'all. His name is Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the black guy for y'all. So go see Nick. <laughs> Don't come to Harlem with that. Go see Nick and do your little, do your juggling and all that, and let Nick wear shiny shoes and all that. I'm I'm the I'm the I'm the nigga with with shell toe Adidas on. Don't come see me. <laughs> Why don't you put a nigga shiny I'm not, shoes? No, they shiny though. They if, are if they, shiny. Hey man, they work for him. They are shiny. They work for him. 
Um, all right, so then now also, when I went to L.A., you had this big show that you did yes. with Russell Simmons. Yes. Explain and, that show. And I was gracious enough to put you on stage. I appreciate that. You text really? me and said you want to go on. You went on that night. He let me go. He let me get on. You went on that night. That night. Just acknowledge that. Because it's, it's, it's a line around the corner to just get in the room. Oh, we from New York. And you was like, I'm here. I want to go on. You show me. You show me love, New York. Yeah. Love. I have the hottest comedy show in Los Angeles on Wednesday nights. It's called All Deaf Comedy Live. It's presented by Russell Simmons from All Deaf Digital, his All Deaf Digital imprint. Uh, I'm the host every Wednesday. Russell's in the room. Steve Rifkin's in the room. Steve LaBelle's in the room. Uh, every young black hot celebrity's in the yes. room. Eva's there. Everybody from the NBA is there. Uh, J. Nice Cole is things, there every yeah. week. Nice things. The, the most beautiful women come out every night. What is it with L.A.? It's a, it's, I mean, they got, there's a lot of them. A lot of them got attitudes, too. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just not on their level. But they're nice. No, it's not. You know, it's, it's not even about the level because a lot of it's like it's like the baddest chick from Toledo, Ohio, will mm -hmm. think I can. I'm gonna move to L.A. because that's where the quote unquote bad chicks are. Right. But they come out thinking since I was a ten in Toledo, I'm gonna be a ten in Southern California, and you're not. Oh. You was a ten in Toledo. You're gonna be a six in Southern California. Shit. So they come out with that like I'm 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 the chick. It's like nah, my this ain't this ain't you yeah. know six four two area code that? or whatever you from you know. So they, they kind of got to humble themselves after the first year. They humble themselves. Is that when they start? They humble themselves after the first. This is the thing. They humble themselves after the first year, but they mess up because in that first year they done smash. They let you know. I I hit. Mm. D Ray hit. Mm. Jamie Fox hit. Only uh, comedians. Uh, uh, oh. What's the homie? Uh, <laughs> Uh, DJ Khaled He hit uh, You know <laughs> I'm sure Robin Thicke probably hit He had a listening session At the house And then after that First year They humbled but then what themselves about, But then he ran through No, See I don't mind The comedian smasher But then when they start Getting the Nipsey Hustle And, and fucking no, YG no, no. Then it's like You smash Nipsey Hustle I'm not trying to <laughs> I'm not going behind Nipsey Hustle I wouldn't even go i go behind Nipsey Russell Before I go behind <laughs> Nipsey Hustle <laughs> I got no love in LA I got no love. Because you know, they don't know what you are. Like, you kind of look Mexican. You, you kind of look Armenian. Yeah. You kind of look Puerto Rican. You kind of look... Could be anything. You got, you got a white daddy and a black mama. You don't, They don't know. So they they don't want to touch it. Yeah. They, you they look no Cuban almost. You, they so don't what, know. So, what, so they're scared of, like, political amnesty or some shit? They, like, yeah. You you look like you might be an ex, you might be an exile or something. I don't, I don't know. Well, like, I'm fucking... What's that kid's name? Elon? Elon? <laughs> Who's Elon? What was the kid that got stranded? The, the Cuban kid. Yeah. Whatever he, happens to that kid? Where's he at? Did he, he go back to Cuba? He's a rapper. Him and Tupac are rapping in Cuba. Wow. <laughs> Elon Gonzalez. Elon Gonzalez. Yeah. Damn, you took it back with that one. That's what I love. Okay. Okay. Go back. I respect the reference. What is the hour special? Hour special we working on. I would love in a perfect, perfect world. I would love to do the hour special New Year's Eve mm. in Brooklyn, New York. In, in a Brooklyn. perfect world, I would do Brooklyn Where Academy would you do music. It in Brooklyn? Brooklyn Academy of Music, right downtown Brooklyn, right across from the Barclays. In a perfect world, my second choice is DC. My DC is actually my favorite place to perform, so I would do it in DC, just because that's the the best comedy audience really? in DC. Yeah, why? Man. Just they just knowledgeable about everything. Anything you say in DC, they got it. Certain places you perform, as a comic, you know you can't touch this subject here. Yeah. You can't touch this subject here. DC, anything, anything anywhere, else. they got it. Wow. Anyway, because it's not a real state. Not no, it's just, it's just because it's the cap. It's like the capital, so they 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 have to know about everything that's going on in the world because that's where we deal with everything that goes on in the world. You so know they're I mean? at the hub. The, right, exactly. That's, hub. that's 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 the base. DC. I never yeah. did a comedy. So if there. I don't do it New Year's Eve, I'll do it first quarter 2015. But I still want to do those one of those two two spots. Who's like some of your favorite comedians? My favorite comics: Richard Pryor, George Carlin, Dave Chappelle, my brother okay, Patrice O'Neill. Okay, stop right there. That's it. Give me the George Carlin. Spiel, cause I don't get it. You don't get what? I don't, I don't, I don't see why he was so great. No, uh, and I mean it with no disrespect. I've tried to listen to him and see why people love him so much. I don't get it. Uh, one consistency, consistency is victory. Consistency is victory. George Carlin's been doing stand up for fifty years, maybe. Right. Every every HBO special, every hour special, I've thought was like, damn, this was better than the last one. Fearlessness. I never got into him. Every it just touches on everything. Like he, he's one of those guys that touches on topics, and I go, "Damn, I should have wrote something about that." But I didn't think it was that funny to even right. write about, and he got it. The to me, Chappelle does that. No, Chappelle does. Chappelle just, Chappelle's just fun to listen to. He's the type yeah. of guy that it seems like he's just talking, 
but everything he says is funny. Yeah. So that's why I like him. Patrice O'Neal is just like no. Patrice was the my Patrice. Favorite. Rest in peace, Patrice. Patrice is uh, he would make you think, make you laugh, and uh, get uncomfortable in the room. Uncomfortable, and, and the, your uncomfortability would make other people that didn't weren't uncomfortable yeah. with it make them laugh even yeah, harder. You know definitely. what I'm saying? My brother's political, makes you think. You know, it's like stuff that people want to say but they don't say. And who else did I say? That's four. Oh, your brother's and, in, the, and, in your and, list? Yeah, he's, on, he's, in, he's in the top five. He's in the top five. No. And Richard Pryor, who is the king across the board in all areas. Yeah, my brother's in my top five. I'm a little biased, but he's in the top five. I don't know if he should be in there. He's not in your top five? Huh? No, my he's not my brother. Okay, so he's, I'm saying he's not in your top five? I don't like Jordan that much. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable mention, Jordan Rock. Shout uh, out to Jordan Rock, yo. <laughs> What's happening here? Beverage? I'm having a little... Uh, Avion, the best tequila in the world, and uh, ginger ale. You know it's like four thirty. It has been voted the, the best tequila in the world. I'm I'm home, man. I'm it's like it's damn near like I'm on vacation right now because right. I've been drinking since noon. Yeah, but this is not like you're not like in well, I'm a, a beach is, in Puerto Rico having is, a pina colada. You're this, you're working, right but this now. is your job. No, you working? I'm just right. I'm, I'm just chilling. Hanging? Yeah, I'm just chilling. I came through to see y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> 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 Didn't you just come from the Seagram's office? Yo, I just left Seagram's offices. I did some business with Seagram's uh, a couple of years ago. And uh, my homegirl, Jen, invited me to the office. Yo, they have a, a, a real actual bar. Not like a table with liquor on it. Yeah. They have an actual bar yeah. behind what the a bar. Bartender. Ice, the shakers, all that. The, the liquor setup. And it's just whatever you want all day, every day for free. Just drink. They got a pool table. They got a, the, what is it, the hockey? Foosball. The foosball. They got... Patio is bananas. We just left. Shout out to Jen. I had a great time. It was the best uh, meeting I've ever had in my life. I don't know what I agreed to do over there, but I was just shaking hands like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. That's how they get people to sign anything. Uh, everything is, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> they said something about a comedy show. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. <laughs> they said something about Wiz Khalifa going on tours. I was like, yeah, let's do it. I'm, I'm there, I'm there. <laughs> so I don't know what I signed up for, but I'm about to be on a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't sign a contract, so I'm probably working for free. <laughs> no, you're not working for free. You're working for a little mini I'm bottles. I'm working for mini bottles of tequila. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, current state of comedy? I like to ask people. Uh, it seems like it's, a, it's 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 blowing up again like it did in the 90s. Uh, it, 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 it's blo- it's Well, in the 90s. It, well, the 90s led to a lot of 90s sitcoms. led to the oversaturation of stand-up. Yeah. So it's getting to a point where it's becoming a little oversaturated again. But that's a good thing because we're going to sift through all of the garbage. It's like mining. It's like mining, panning for gold. You mm. sift through all the garbage and it's one or two nuggets that right. you find. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's more garbage, but there's going to be a few nuggets. But what about like, how do you feel like, you know, obviously people say Kevin Hart's like the superstar. He's the hot guy. How, how does, how come there's only one superstar at a time? That's how the industry is designed. The in, well, well, this is the thing. The, so I'm talking the there's indus- a lot of stars. No, that's the thing. The superstar. The industry is designed that, and I don't want to make it a racial thing, but the suits that control the industry, yeah, we know they they happen to be for the last since the ever since the industry started, they happen to all look alike. Let's just okay. say that. Yeah. And they seem to think there's only one. Wait, are, they, slot. are you saying they're Asian? Yeah, they're Asian. Okay. Yes, let's say that. Okay. Good. They seem to think, have the impression that there's only room for one Negro at a time. Right. So they put all their energy into one black dude. And when they get the one, everything goes in. They'll put all their energy into this one black dude, but there's another four or five that are doing great. Great. They just not, you know. For some reason, that somebody gets all the attention. When Eddie Murphy was at his height, there was three or four of the comics that was like, yo, I'm eating good. Right. They just wasn't at Eddie's level. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like, just be happy where you are. Your 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 path is your path. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not mad at anyone's you know I mean? path, but I'm just saying it seems a little biased where they just pick It does, it does. But, one, but this is the thing. The one person. When it comes to stand-up, when it comes to stand-up, see, this is why stand-up's so beautiful. Because stand-up, stand-up comedy, you'll go, oh, he's the hot guy, but he ain't the funniest guy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? No. no shots at nobody. I don't want no Twitter beefs or nothing like that, but... Come see the show. When you see the show, you go, oh, he, yeah, he the hot dude, but he ain't the funniest dude. Right. You know what I'm saying? Who's the funniest? Right now? I'm in contention. <laughs> yeah, Tony. I'm in contention. Tony. If there's a contest, I would throw my hat in the ring. Yeah. I would throw my hat in the ring. Against who? Whoever. 
Top three. Whoever. Like, I'll, I'll let y'all call it. See, this is the thing. I don't want to. I don't want to seem. Let's just say this: people are stupid. Okay. So when you say something that goes against what they think or they believe, then you're labeled a hater or you're jealous or whatever. So I'm. I don't. I'm not name, saying name nobody, mm-hmm. but I just know that stand up wise, like I'm sure there's there's bu- a bunch of cats that got more Twitter followers than me and more Instagram views and yeah. they do more movies and they might have more money, but stand up wise, they probably can't mess with me at all. Oh, so I'm talking about stand-up comedy. I'm not talking about it. anything else. Stand-up comedy. So stand-up comedy, I'm in a good space. All right. We're going to put you to the test. Gotham Comedy Club this weekend. <laughs> okay. You got Brooklyn coming through? Of course. You know of course. They don't laugh of, at shit. Brooklyn, I, I got Brooklyn. Imagine you had a room Brooklyn's full of me Brooklyn, Brooklyn Jamaicans. Brooklyn's with me everywhere I go. Bumbo. No, no, no. Your, Brooklyn is in you. Brooklyn you is everywhere but I go. you're home now. So you go, ca- you go get these dudes. I get them every show. I get them every show. I get the dudes that went to high school with me. It's like, yo, I never liked this dude. Let me see if he's funny. Then shows over like, yo, I ain't going to front, son. You know, I didn't really mess with <laughs> yo, you in high school. Really but fuck with you, but like you all right, yo. You all right. I get girls that's like, like, yo, you try to talk to my girl, but you all right. <laughs> <laughs> I get all that, man. Listen, I'm going to translate for you. When somebody you grew up with says, you all right, that means you fucking murdered it. Or <laughs> I get the chicks I used to date, they go, I came to your little show. <laughs> Everything little. <laughs> I came to your little They'll say, they'll even let you know how crazy. They'll go, I came to your little show. I couldn't get in because it was sold out. But it's like a little <laughs> show that you couldn't get into? I mean, line was around the corner for your little show. <laughs> Tickets sold out a week ago for your little show. <laughs> <laughs> they told my mother she couldn't get in your little show. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go. go Gotham Comedy Club, get your tickets, watch them on TV, follow them online. Apollo Live, Tuesday follow nights. Follow them in the streets. If you see them in New York, just follow them around. I'm, I'm everywhere, man. Follow me on Instagram, Tony underscore rock. Twitter, Tony Rock. Uh, TonyRockComedy.com. Uh, Apollo Live, tour dates until the end of the year. Our special coming soon. Sex, drugs, and rock the world. Um... I'm hanging out my man, yo. Cypher don't get gassed. That he put me on his show, Night Of. I'm out. <laughs> Comedy Corner. Corner? Corner?